Okay, this big uh, railroad cut right here. Uh, it's up here along Pine Ridge near Leeds, and this was the site of uh, Slaw Sheffield's old Castleman Brown Ore Mines. And the old Brown Ore Mines are further up the bridge, but this was actually the uh, rail bed right here. And uh, this came all the way out of Leeds. It was a uh, spur line that Southern Railways built for uh, Slaw Sheffield to uh, reach their brown ore mines in the early 1900s up here along uh, uh, Pine Ridge. And uh, uh, Slaw said uh, Sheffield had discovered a large brown ore deposit up here along the ridge line so they uh, decided to make use of uh, mining it had Southern Railways build them a spur line uh, that came all the way from Leeds and this is uh, the remains of it uh, here today and uh, I'm not sure how many miles it was maybe just a few miles four miles or something from Leeds but it goes all the way down to the Little Cahaba River kind of terminates there but uh, this is the uh, rail bed remains and the brown ore mines were only in operation I don't even think three years and then for whatever reason they just closed them down so but uh, not quite sure on the dates of uh, uh, Okay, uh, you can see the uh, raised uh, rail bed here, and uh, it's coming all of the, this is, uh, leads is in that direction, and the, all the Kesselman brown ore mines, there's a lot of them, remains are way up high on the ridge, but uh, this right here is where they would have had a wooden trestle right here, and of course there's nothing that remains, there's no uh, wooden wooden post remains or anything they just must have scavenged all this after the uh, rail spur line was closed and the brown ore mines went away but uh, anyway this is the uh, remains of the rail bed here and just walk over there for a few minutes and uh, see what it looks like over there and then uh, go check out a couple of the brown ore mines so Okay, uh, not much remains of uh, any of the old brown ore mine sites. This is kind of typical here of the uh, Casman brown ore mine sites, which there's quite a few heading back east along the uh, ridge line, and uh, quite a few more on the west side of the ridge line heading towards the Little Cobble River. But uh, they had these kind of like little drift mines. And uh, they actually used water, hydraulic water pressure, to wash away the side of the ridge to get out the brown ore. And uh, you can see this is where one of the mines was. And there's a remains of a little tramway bed right there that must have skirted along the top of the ridge and they had a loading tipple somewhere down below for the uh, spur line railroad to put the brown ore in and this was probably going to be sent to either Slaw Sheffield's North City Furnace or the main furnace the city furnace which is now a historic landmark downtown Birmingham but uh, anyway this is kind of just what remains of a little piece of forgotten history around up here at Leeds uh, when they were doing brown ore mining up here. So, anyway, good little field trip.
Okay, uh, this is the uh, last video up here for uh, the Castleman Brown Ore Mines. You can see there's, you just have the remains of where they just did this hydraulic water pressure on the side of the ridge to get at the brown ore. And they did have a few little drift mines. And this was one of them right here. But a, uh, I guess recently a tree has come down and uh, blocked the entrance right there and uh, preventing you from going in the mine. So, like it was sitting right here and a lot of rain and stuff. After many years, it just just took the tree, the roots, the dirt all down with it. But uh, that was an entrance to one of the uh, brown ore mines, the drift mines, to get at the brown ore seam, I guess. So, and right through there, you can see the little tramway cut. And uh, so, uh, this was a pretty extensive operation along the ridge line for several years, but. Uh, yeah, so much for anybody trying to get in that uh, drift mine right there. So, okay. And that'll do it for a trip up here to the Castleman Brown Ore Mines.